Hello and welcome back. This time I'm here with double maces. These are both slowing maces, nothing else. Um, in fact, they could be much better, but I like that both of them are literally the exact same thing. Um, you can see here, this is 88 plus slowing, and then the other one, that's the same one. The other one is also 88 plus slowing. I also have other maces that have more damage and like ice and fire and like there's one that's I think fire and slowing so that would just be a direct upgrade but hey they're the exact same and that's cool so I'm gonna do it and then I got the shield that does plus knockback uh, it's basically useless but I'm gonna have it just in case and sorry for me being so fast um, I we're just talking so fast I guess uh, oh this one looks like a pretty cool dungeon uh, I'm just gonna go straight for it and I just have to go right and then backtrack and just keep taking every right and basically just go straight the whole way but yeah here we go in the underworld let's get it oh wow that's that's fun what just happened to me oh oh whoa nice nice we're falling into the abyss um okay you know i'll try to quickly get out of this bug if you ever have this bug happen to you you just have to go into this hole and then we'll respawn you right back up here and then we go on our way into the dungeon and here we go we're we're doing that dungeon doing this thing let's get it um i'm really hoping that this time my audio and uh my, my microphone audio and in-game audio work because i've been recording some videos where only one works i've been trying to troubleshoot um to figure out the solution of making it consistently work uh, and by the way, I am recording straight from my headset. I'm not recording the video and audio from my computer casting from the headset. Some people do that, but I just, I want it to be as simple as possible. And to do that, I'm doing a little bit of troubleshooting and it's being a bit of a pain in the butt, but I think I've come to the conclusion that, uh, every time I launch a game, it will, uh, start with... Um, man, it's, it's hard for me to play and talk about technical stuff at the same time. Um, but yeah, the, <laughs> the, when it launches the game and I originally start the recording, uh oh, where, where even did I get hit? Way over there. Um, starts the recording. Um, and the first recording that I do, it works, but then if I stop the recording in the app, in the game, and then I do another recording, that next recording doesn't record properly. Also, I have two keys. I can get that tier two, but I wanna see what's in here. Um, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get the tier two. It's probably gonna be plenty more chests in this dungeon. It looks like a pretty sweet one, but hopefully I get plenty of keys too. Um, but yeah, so I actually had meta support take me through so many useless troubleshooting steps. They had no clue what was going on. It was probably just some tier one support guy. Oh, cool, and the map, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, they ended up having me factory reset my headset and just like a whole bunch of random stuff that absolutely didn't do anything. And they escalated the ticket, luckily. So hopefully, oh, I love when that happens. What in the world? Um, hopefully it goes to a higher tech that actually like knows what they're doing. Um, ooh. Nice, put three tricks. Die. Ah, oh, wow. I just blocked that in the middle of the air, but it just didn't do anything. Oh. Come on, man. Why does he take so many hits? Okay, there we go. Whew. So, when you get one guy slowed. Holy crap, where did he come from? Um. And man, they take so much damage. I guess blunt weapons are probably not super effective against the imps specifically. Um, but yeah. Now we got all this stuff. And good, good. Okay, now let me look at the map real quick. Okay, we came into there, we got the key, and back we go through the parkour land. It's a pretty cool room. I haven't seen it a ton lately. But um, yeah, no, I really hope that recording issue is fixed because it seems like it's a 
it's a bug within the headset itself. I don't know if it's mine. They actually <laughs> offered to replace the headset all in all just to fix the which just sounds crazy to me because I don't even think it's hardware related. Um, pretty sure it's just software and I'm about to get destroyed. Okay. Yeah, no, these guys take so much damage with the blunt weapons. So maybe, maybe this is why, this is the reason that these do so much damage and they're maybe not overpowered because I always figured like, oh, these blunt weapons, the um, maces and the, the bats, they, because they do like <laughs> as a level 50, 80 to a hundred damage. I don't know if they actually do a hundred, but in the nineties, um, I wasn't sure if they were just significantly stronger than everything. Cause no other weapon can get as high damage as these blunt weapons can. Also another, another cool room, but I can just jump through it. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, okay. We got a torch room. That's awesome. Very variety dungeon here. Um, okay. Let's get this key that's always sitting there. Get some gold. Drop the torch and explode the thing. All right. But yeah, these things, really good for killing bats. Oh, oh wow. Right as I say that, I miss my bat shot. And it's best to throw the thing sideways at the bats because it's the most, I don't know biggest hitbox kind of oh come on man why aren't you dying okay i'll just leave that guy in slow-mo while i fight the other guy okay i hit both of them nice there we go finally and this guy man he just tanked so many shots but yeah, these maces are really good for throwing and then right after you hit them, or even if you don't hit them, just retrieving that throw and then go and melee at them. Um, very satisfying to bonk the skeletons in the head with these. All right, I'm gonna go this way first because that is the way of the map. Yes, it is just one random little piece of the dungeon. I think there's bats, oh yeah bats spawn in this room up there there we go i said throw sideways but i don't know that one just felt like a vertical throw opportunity <laughs> um okay got a key fantastic and that way nice but yeah these things maces just feel good i think they're definitely one of my favorite weapons um and the fact that it took so many shots to kill the imps i think i could deal with that um, it seemed to take a lot to kill everything, which is weird. Oh, you know what? I, I think the reason is because I don't have my critical exo perk equipped. Um, so it's, it's probably just as overpowered as I thought it was. Uh, but because I don't have the exo perk that does critical damage for melee, then these things are just not as powerful as they could be. I think right now I have impale, which makes the, uh, ranged weapons do more damage. Uh, and I don't even have range weapons, so I just have an arms perk that does absolutely nothing for me. That's okay. Okay. Oh no. What? Please don't kill me, man. Good thing he's stuck in slow mo's. I'm stuck in ice. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. Ugh. But, yeah, I, I think it's it's a good thing to you can actually hit some of the enemies and then as as they stagger backwards from you hitting them um you can throw your weapon and then because they were staggered the weapon almost definitely hits them and you just keep the chain of stun continuing okay we've got an open room i think bats spawn in here so i'll probably get attacked by oh nice nice bat and cool thing out these maces because they're so big in their hitbox and not so thin like swords it's just easy to hit those bats even when they're close up and you get stunned with ice you can still barely move with ice and so you just whack them very slightly and doing just a small amount of damage still kills them i like this room 
We got a spider from the ceiling. Oh, wow. I have no clue. Where, where are my things? Get? Oh, you know what? It's because whenever, <laughs> whenever an enemy is on stairs, the auto-aim always acts up. Nice. What in the... Man, it's so weird how they can... They can hurt you even when they're locked in the stun. If you get too close to them, they will still hurt you. Okay. <laughs> That's rough. It's it's hard to do like uppercuts. I guess I could move my body and do this kind of thing. And then down, up, down, up. I could do that, but I was just, I was just bashing them from the top like a, a dingus. But that's okay. That, that works. <laughs> I see a lot of people, they'll melee like this in this game. And when you don't have the speed plus the range of motion, it just does significantly less damage. Ow, that hurt. So when you're just doing this, it'll take 100 hits as opposed to like 10 hits or even less. <laughs> Man, 67 health. I'm not even hitting this guy. There we go, finally. Ooh, kill the spider first. Don't want to get frozen. Okay, see, I was aiming at the imp, but it just auto-targeted to the, the big guy. There we go. Very satisfying hitting that guy's head. Ooh, nice, big boy. This might be tough if he dodges a lot, which it doesn't look like he even can. I don't know. He can go invisible, that's for sure. Cool thing about going invisible, if you, um, what in the world? What is he doing? Mr. Glitchy. Okay, oops. I gotta go up here, kill him here. Okay, I can't let him get too close because then he'll start eating me. But as long as I keep my distance, there's like no chance he'll eat me. Oh man, but they're, oh, whoa, holy crap. Yeah, these things are like missiles, and he's purple. Wow, that's crazy. Here, let me, just in case, do a little health. I mean, you know what? <laughs> I probably should have just waited for uh, first, what is it, um, last stand. I don't know why I say first. Come on! Ugh! I guess auto aim's not helping. This is how bad my aim really is. Come on, there we go. I'll just, I'll keep him in that stuck state. Oh, oh man. Yeah, using my real aim is, is some tough stuff, but I like it. If I, if I had to use my real aim all the time, I would imagine I would get better at it, especially my left hand. My right hand is, my dominant, so it's just tough on my left. Okay, now he's under there. So, I'll... oh, I hit, I hit him while he was invisible. You can see like a little wisp goes invisible actually, and that is, I think, his exact location. It would also be good to have the plus throw damage on this. It would be cool if there's plus throw damage with crits. I don't think that's a thing. All right. I hope that battery went up here instead of dropping into the pit. Yep, there we go. And bam, what do we have next? Oh, man, a lot of purples. Well, I guess two. Not a ton, but I gotta, I gotta aim. Ooh. Yeah. yeah, if I get hit by this guy, I instantly die. But okay, yeah, see, slowing so nice for this situation um slowing will do absolute wonders um against bosses while they're slowed you can go in and attack them i don't even want to risk going in and attacking this guy melee even though he's slowed just because purples kill you instantly and i don't know how quick he'll be you know what no i'll risk it i'll see I'll see how what I can do. It's just once he becomes unslowed, that's when it gets real scary. And I don't know exactly when he gets unslowed. Okay, perfect. We got it. So yeah, I really hope this this video recorded with audio and uh, microphone and in-game audio 
because I think I've recorded three or four videos now that have broken audio. And yeah, so I'm, I was about to be kind of like ahead of the backlog of, of YouTube posts, but then this whole issue started happening because I guess I've been recording more than, more than usual. And uh, yeah, 44, good stuff going here. And uh, started making thumbnails too. Um, hopefully the thumbnails are a little cooler than just the screenshots I usually take of kind of cool looking scenes. But yeah, no, that was the the dungeon run. I'm actually gonna check the exo point, see what crappy exo point. Yep, so I had impaled just like I thought. I should have been using um, the power perk. Oh no, actually not even the power. This one, critical, adds 40%. But then I could have done the throwing, I have throwing distance. But then there's also, what is it? I don't even have it unlocked yet. Um, arms, increased throwing damage. So this one could be good. Um, uh, throwing damage, upgrade this, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, because I, I have like unlimited exo points just from playing a lot, uh, 122. I could probably max out every exo perk and it doesn't matter. But yeah, so here we are. We got the good stuff, got the goods, and hope you enjoy the video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.